Hello all, it's that time again for more Blinking Cursor Madness in Arch Linux VirtualBox. I'm going to take a look at GNOME 3.18 or 3.18 in the Unstable Repository in Arch Linux. It's been filling up quite a bit uh, with packages and uh, it's usable but I wouldn't advise trying out on your system just yet. Probably another month or so. So. I'm at the login prompt. I'm going to log in as root to start with. And, uh, yeah. And we're going to edit our uh, Pac Man configuration file. So, nano etsy pac man dot clnf. And warning, I'm going to zoom in. <laughs> and I'll just page down before I zoom in. Okay. Fairly simple to do. Enter a couple of times and square brackets gnome dash unstable. And we'll take a save from the core or any one of these where the cursor is. Uh, press Alt 6 and that copies it and go to just under you made the new entry where this cursor is blinking here and press Control U. That's it. And control O to write out. And control X to quit. And at the top, I'll just do a Pac Man dash capital S Y Y. And hopefully, the yeah, it's there. The GNOME's unstable is there. Alright, so I'm going to get out of the root and log in just as my regular user. And we're just going to do sudo Pac Man dash capital S. GNOME. And there we go. I'm just going to enter the default too. So it's fairly sizable, a gig and a half. So I'll let that download and uh, install and I'll be back when we're ready. Okay, so it seems like uh, quite a few packages even from yesterday. Uh, I noticed uh, a couple of new 318 3.18 packages uh, being installed. Actually, quite more than a few. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, GDM is enabled by default, so I'll just do a sudo. Actually, before that, let's do a sudo pacman dash syu. And yep, glib. That's what I found uh, before uh, earlier. And I think it comes with GNOME extensions, so I'm just going to do a pacman dash. Capital S, small s, gnome, dash shell, dash extensions. And uh, anyway, so sudo system ctl enable gdm. Yeah, it's not. It wasn't enabled, so I'm just reboot. And uh, last time I had, I tried this, it uh, crashed at first, but Hopefully, that'll be the only crash. Yeah, it says log out. And just type in your user, I mean, just type in your password, and hopefully that'll run. There we go. So we have GNOME unstable in uh, Arch Linux. And we'll take a quick look at programs. And last time videos just didn't work and it's not working again. Oh, it is working. Good. So that was updated. And the famous... <laughs> I don't know why these icons are so big. It's hilarious. Uh, there, I need to zoom in even more so you can see that. So just mouse wheel to the smallest you can, basically. Other locations, that's a new thing. So VBox. Unable to find supported SSH. Obviously, there's nothing here. So, computer, you can go to. So, I guess if you connect to a server, that's that's kind of cool, I guess. And, uh, oh, I think I forgot to get Let's look at the terminal. And help about 318. Can we do anything special to it? Profile preferences. Give it a name. Midfinger. Uh... Underline command colors. Nope. Let's go to 
white on black. I was hoping for, uh, I don't see it right away, uh, for, uh, what do you call that, uh, transparency effect, and, oh yeah, maybe under edit, just the pr preferences itself. Okay. Uh, nope. Oh well. So I'll close that down. Okay, I'm going to attempt to go into full screen. <laughs> so, uh, control F. Right control F in virtual box. Yeah, whatever. Switch. There it goes. It is working. And unfortunately, the hover doesn't work in virtual box. So, last time Web Epiphany didn't work. Oh, it's working now. Great. And Web is Epiphany, I believe, about. It's called Web. Thanks. <laughs> Credits. No clue. I don't know. So, default search engine here is DuckDuckGo. Let's see what happens. And I guess it's working. My apologies to the uh, GNOME team. So we have a couple of pages already of uh, extensions. Dash to dock. Let's see if it'll work. Open weather. Screen goes really black. Install. Yep. Well, that's pretty cool. And a lot of people like dash to dock. Just install that. Just to. And it should be on the side here. And just on. Yeah, there it is. And let's go back. Drop down terminal. Top icons is there. Good. Don't need it really in virtual box, but it's there. And uh, this is a tweak tool. No. All right. So let's go back to oh, terminal. Zoom in here for you. Pseudo Pac-Man dash capital S GNOME dash tweak dash tool. Okay. Windows key works, so let's tweak. There it is. Uh, desktop. What was I looking for? Global dark theme, that's usually fun. Uh, you can have your icons on. Uh, or off. It does make a difference. In that. So anyway. Um, so you have the applications menu if you wish. On or off. And uh, one like one, one I like is the places indicator. You find that handy. And there's the uh, global global dark theme. And Windows, minimize and maximize VPI scaling, which again I don't need to do here. Um, system monitor, and cool, pretty neat. Uh, about 318, so that's even updated from yesterday. I guess it's not fair, I went to a global dark scene, so everything seems to be different. Resources, file system, usual stuff, processes. What's up here? Whoa. What's that? <laughs> okay. Does it give me information? No. Whatever. Is there, I don't think there's weather installed. Gnome weather? No. Of course, we need, we have a, a webcam facility, desktop search. Uh, yeah. Okay, so right-clicking, change background. Do we have any new backgrounds? Mm, not. I'll select that one for now. Something different. Oh, well. Um, background, notifications, privacy, search, power, details. 
gives me an idea. Default applications. Videos, videos, image viewer, so that's I of GNOME, that's uh, Totem, and web is, right now there's no other um, web browser installed. Users. Oh yeah, so we can change our login logo if we wish. GNOME, uh, shortcuts, launchers, launch home folder, control alt h, let's see if that works. Yep. And then we'll add a shortcut for terminal gnome dash terminal add. Sorry, I'm rambling on a bit. There we go. And control T and H. Control Alt H. Yep. Quit. Quit. No. Exit that one. And don't have a text editor. Let's take a look for. Uh, Should download my bash script and make it easier. So sudo no, we don't want to do sudo. Pacman dash capital S small s G edit. What version is it that? <sighs> Three one eight. Okay, let's take a look at that one. Sudo Pacman and take out the small s. And sudo Pacman dash s s gnome dash extras I believe okay so let's throw that out to a document extras dot text so home folder extras what do we got and how does this work does this do anything special so we got some games um, file roller is that version 316 some more games. Oh, GNOME Music is updated. So we can grab that. Alright, I have to, I have to reboot. Um, let's look at the program files or the program application directory. Uh, music still isn't working. Uh, weather not responding, which is, you know, it's fine. Uh, I noticed photos are still taking a long time. I'm not sure why that's happening. Uh, maps, I was having fun with that. And type in a location. Sorry about the lag. And you get uh, directions uh, from, say, New York. Ooh, press enter. First result will work, I guess. And there's your <laughs> directions. Uh, route search by graph hopper. That's interesting. And you can even get, uh, so it's a eight hour journey uh, for almost 500 miles by bicycle. It's going to take you 50 hours and it's longer mile, mileage. And uh, if you want to walk, you can. <laughs> and it's going to take you 165 hours. And 515 miles. That's kind of interesting. And I'm not sure if this was in the last release, the 316 uh, videos. Channels, was that there? I think it was. I don't know. So, Apple movie trailers. There isn't much here if it responds. Well, there we go. I don't know. I wonder if they'll add more to that. Uh, another thing, too, is a quick way to look at your. Gnome shell extensions in here. Thought that was kind of interesting. That was probably there before too. So if I see if I can set the uh, desktop icons and if it will let me add a shortcut. Desktop properties. I have to open this. You can open a terminal in here. Okay, let's see if that'll work. Uh, I'll just copy this whole thing. That's it. So, I wonder, can I take that and put the actual, that's cool, and actually put the extra slash. And does it work? Yeah, it does work, but it's ugly looking, but it does work. Uh, can I change the icon? Well, it does work, and uh, when you choose an icon, it actually takes the uh, horrible looking uh, symbolic link, the shortcut arrow, and it actually opens. So, 
Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> if you want to, you can have uh, on your desktop, or I think I threw one in the home folder too. So same idea, just click properties and uh, click this thing to change the icon. And there we go. Open that, and there you go. Quick way to look at your extensions. Enough of that. Uh, there are some. There are some pretty cool things happening with the new GNOME, GNOME 3.81, and uh, that should do for this one. And thanks so much for watching. And we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.